My name is Florian Beyers. I'm a software engineer. As a blind developer, I know how frustrating it is to not be able to access learning materials, books, articles, or anything else in Braille. The technology is there. Why don't we use it? Only 3% of all text content is available in Braille because translation is complex, which makes it not profitable for publishers. To solve this, we have developed Dot Translate, the first Braille translator based on AI. It can translate any digital text from a wide range of sources because it's being trained with millions of samples translated by humans to understand context and translate with the highest possible accuracy to Braille. Dot Translate is accessible from a wide range of devices. It comes with an intuitive interface, allowing anyone to translate anything themselves. But most importantly, it's free. Any product or service can integrate. Now with the access of automated translation of Braille, any new content being created out there in the world can be brought into the format of Braille. The cool thing about Dot Translate is that you can go to any website, activate the bookmarklet, and have your content translated and formatted ready for reading. You don't have to be an expert to create a good Braille document. Everyone can just download the files and read them in a digital way. Everything is translated so accurate. Finally, we can access any content we want. Dot Translate is already the most accurate Braille translator. And with every word, it's getting better. It gives us the opportunity to focus on the generation of great content rather than spending it on translation. Hello everyone, I'm Eric, CEO of DOT. It's very nice to meet you all. DOT innovates the lives of 40 million blind people in education, jobs, and entertainment. The video that you just saw is one of the software that runs in our devices. Through our DOT pad, blind people finally access graphics and braille. And through our DOT braille smartwatch, it's the perfect companion for the 40 million blind people all over the world. And through our dot reader, we have distributed dot reader in Kenya and India last year. This is the most affordable e-book reader for the blind people. So we have two business era. One is dot assistive and second is dot infra. Let me start with the dot assistive. What is the market problem? Imagine having a Kindle that isn't this a visual This was like Kindle, a dream but for the blind people for 30 years. Be read by um, a person who's blind using Braille. <laughs> Refreshable Braille displays do exist, but they have a number of problems. The first is that they only display one line of text at a time. So if you can imagine trying one to read a book on a Kindle, one a line of text at a time. The people. second is that they're extremely expensive. It just a single line of Braille really costs between three and $5,000. And a full page Braille this was dream, but it never happened before. $55,000. And you can't do much with a single line. It's hard to read for one, so it's, that's a pain point. But also, you can't do things like graphs, you can't do spreadsheets, you can't do. Any so, we innovated the exi existing technology 90% smaller, lighter, and affordable three years ago. And with our technology, we bring the world's first graphic and braille able tablet in the world. It's like a Macintosh GUI for the first time in the world. So on our pad, you can access like graphics, your, your mother's images, and like Excel spreadsheet, and like STEM education is possible. So you can access graphics. So this is a current method that how blind students learn math in real-time classes. In the US, Europe, South Korea is the same. And they spend millions of dollars to just providing that paper book. So finally, Dot innovated this market and we selected as an official e-textbook for the blind student in the USA from next year. It's a $20 million per year, five years contracted deal. So we are also working with Apple to making this technology more affordable and more widely spread in the world. So on iOS app, you can access a lot of graphics and images and games for the first time in next year. So we envision this market is extremely big. So 
serviceable obtainable market, we already achieved 20 million dollars per year revenue. And we expect 700 million dollars per year revenue if we spread this technology in G20 country, and it already happens in South Korea, China, and Middle East. So that watch, the watch that I'm wearing, is our iconic device that Andre Charlie and Stevie Wonder is already using it. It's like an Apple watch, I, you know, smart watch, and it's, it's a perfect companion for the blind people. And it's already spreading in the world, more than 20,000 units in 20 countries. And let me start the dot infra. This is more interesting. So dot wanted to bring our technology and our forward thinking into more larger market. So we bring our technology to the more and more and more bigger market. It's a smart city market. We make the infrastructures barrier free for every people. So smart city market is really big. It's a $220 billion market, but we focus on this generation of disabled people, elderly people, and mobility impaired people. This COVID-19 era, untech infra for these population, it never happened before. So we wanted to go this market. It's so like blind people, all the touch screen is not able to access. And like wheelchair person, all the kiosk and all the self-learning machine is really in the high, so it's like they cannot access it. So old infra doesn't help special needs. So we got a contract this year, about $16.5 million of contract with Busan Smart City. It's a first city-scale barrier-free smart city project. And in Busan, about 30% of the population is traffic vulnerable. Elderly people is included, and disabled people is included. And every city and every, every nation has about 30% of this generation. So we installed last year the first barrier-free smart kiosk in Busan subway station. This blind guy never found his way by his own method. But like through our technology, he can access all the maps and all the data for the first time. So what it happened is we let them to see through the, our digital tactile maps. And for hearing impaired people, they can access with sign languages, recognize their voices. So it's like a smart machine that understands even disabled people, also non-disabled people. So we bring this all-in-one barrier-free smart solutions in Busan City, and right now it's widely spreading in City Hall and all the Gucheong in South Korea. So physically impaired, hearing impaired, visually impaired, elderly people can use it without any problems. So we are bringing this technology in 120 stations in Busan, subway station, so we make entire station barrier-free, and we connect this with existing car sharing services like Kaka Mobility and government disabled people car sharing services. So we make entire subway station barrier free and we connect them to barrier free stations. So for example, if you are a wheelchair person, if you have an app, you just put your destination and we guide you through the barrier free station. And naturally, in the nearest time, the BFDRT, the special car for the wheelchair person, will come and bring you to the destination. So we are expanding it right now. So we're gonna finish our install month in Busan this year. And next year, we're gonna expand to the whole Busan province. So we want to bring this technology globally. Uh, of course, France, Europe, USA, <laughs> she's not here. But like, we want to bring this technology globally right now. So like barrier-free tourism and barrier-free concept is re really a hard concept. Like Olympics, Expo, those committee want to accept this agenda with us. So like, and also like Korean governments registering a lot of law in the US, in the Europe is ahead above us. But like it's going the global way. So we, we see this market, we already achieved the service of obtainable market of Busan City of about $16.5 million. And we think that we can expand this market in five years, $500 million market in 30 major cities all over the world. So we, ex we fit this quality education, reduced inequalities, and we bring this technology for the sustainable cities. So we already have global patents, over 100 patents. And that is a scale of stage. We are really R&D focused company, so we didn't have that revenue. But this year we have revenue. We already have a revenue of about $14 million. 
And in three years, we think we can go to the IPO. So this is why I started when I first saw Braille Bible in the University of Washington five years ago. And we are making a future for them. Thank you very much.